everybody welcome back to my office today we're experimenting so this is mega tank if you haven't been here before this is my diy built plywood aquarium it is eight foot by four foot by three foot and at the moment it's housing some giant fish we've got a giant emperor snake head and we've got an azul peacock bass in there that i've rescued fairly recently um but i don't want just two fish in there as i said in the last video i want to get a couple more in here so I want to put Humphrey in there. Humphrey is almost like the channel mascot. He's my pet fish. He's my favorite pet fish with the most personality. He's my flower horn. He's a two-tone camphor flower horn. He was living in there before I rescued these fish, but I got him out just to let these guys settle in. But I want to get him in there because I enjoyed having him in there. He seemed to enjoy being in there. At the moment, he's in a kind of four-foot aquarium, which is fine, but I have other plans. I want to see whether or not it will work. So we're going to give him a chance at least. I mentioned in the last video that I wanted to do this and pulled for some ideas of how to do it. And yep, yeah, all good ideas. Get them in quickly before these guys establish territories. Uh, Adam has a bunch of other similar sized fish to spread out the aggression. I don't have a lot of other similar sized fish, so we're going to have to go it alone and see how it is. But the main one was create safe spaces. Very woke. Great safe spaces for breaking up eye lines, breaking up um, sight lines rather, and giving refuge to a fish. So whether it's Humphrey attacking these fish or these fish attacking Humphrey, somewhere that they can go and just get out of the way. Now it's quite difficult because they're all such big fish, they can probably all get into each other's spaces. So I'm just hoping that by having enough spaces there, we can give some level of protection. There's no getting away from it. There is going to be bickering. When you add new fish, whether they're small fish, big fish, or monster fish, there's a little bit of assertion of dominance. I'm the tank boss, do things my way. Um, I have no idea whether it's going to be Humphrey asserting his dominance over these fish, because he's, for the first time in his life, going to be the small fry, or whether it's these guys doing it to him. Now, the Emperor Snakehead, uh, snakeheads in general are very predatory fish, but the emperor snakehead, as far as all my research can tell me, is one of the more chilled species of snakehead. And this particular snakehead does seem pretty chilled. So he's living in there with a the peacock bass. Um, there's no aggression going on. Every now and again, there's a little bit of a snap at it to get out my way or something like that, but nothing that actually connects or causes any damage. And the same with the peacock bass, there's no no predatory instincts there at all that I can see. Now, I don't know if that's because these fish have grown up together and I, that's what we're going to find out by adding a new fish in Humphrey. So, I have added a whole bunch of new uh, rock work and stone work to give some, <laughs> and now as I say that, they've started chasing each other. I've added a whole bunch of new places um, for fish to get in and hide. Interestingly, the big fish are exploring these. Um, they've spent a lot of time checking out these, so I can see that there are some areas that they can get into and some that they can't, which is good. That's that's exactly what we want. We want places for all fish to be comfortable. So if there's a big fish that wants to get out of the way, there's a bit that he can get round the back. Uh, similarly, the peacock bass can get into one of the ones on the sides, and Humphrey should begin, be able to get into some of the smaller gaps. So we've done that. I have more that I can add. So if it looks like that is going to be a requirement, I'm in the middle of making some caves um, that are specific sizes for the specific fish, um, which I can add in in the next couple of days once they're ready. But now we're just going to see how we go on. So I've got uh, nets at the ready. <laughs> I couldn't get a divider that was big enough to divide the tank and see how, whether we could introduce them that way. So we're just going to have to let them get on with it and see how they, how they fare. But yeah, we'll get in and we'll get the fishing nets out and scoop any fish out if we see that there's a problem. These two clearly live together quite happily. So these two, although Humphrey is my favorite fish, are the priority for Mega Tank because they need this size tank. Humphrey can live happily in his smaller four and a half foot tank, no problem. So it'll be Humphrey that we whip out if we do that. But without further ado, let's get on with it and see what happens. So first off, we need to get Humphrey out. This is never a dry affair, so this will be fun. And I keep having to kind of remind myself, I'm expecting this 
there's going to be moments of panic. When I put them in the new tank, the other fish are going to come and check them out. And my instinct will be to jump in and rescue them straight away. I need to leave them there a little minute. Unless they're out and out killing them immediately, I need to let nature do its thing, even though this isn't a natural fish, but you know what I mean. But anyway, let's see if I can surprise him with the netting. He doesn't like this at all. Oh, I don't know if I caught that because I panicked and dropped everything. But if he missed it, it was just me saying, please be nice, please be nice, please be nice, over and over again. So definitely checking each other out. No out and out aggression. I mean, fins are raised. Each other is being eyed up. It was very much, who the hell are you going on? So Humphrey, when he has been showing aggression to other fish, has gone after them immediately. So I don't know how the snake head and the Azul will show aggression. I've heard that it's more of an ambush thing than a out and out hunting thing. I'm just hoping that he's big enough that nobody tries anything. There's definite interest. They're definitely going, what the hell is this weird looking fish in our tank? See that little head shape there? Oh, I don't know what that is. So Humphrey and the snake head are definitely having a thing Don't kill each other, please. So, he hasn't really explored the safe spaces that I've left for them. So I don't know if he knows he's got an escape route if he needs it. Definitely doesn't seem to be the aggressor, which is good. I was a bit worried that Humphrey would be the one that'd go after the other two. It's a bit like what's going on here. But the snake heads, uh, that's weird. I don't know how to describe it. Let me turn off all these other lights so I can get rid of the glare. Okay, so another couple of minutes. Still very nervous. But there seems to be mostly checking each other out. I mean, I was prepared for a little bit of an aggression and the odd snap or bump. Like, leave me alone, you're annoying me, get out of the way. But so far, it just seems to be inquisitive. Humphrey is following the peacock, the bass. He's not snapping at it or anything, but he's definitely interested. I don't know if he's trying to make friends. I must stop anthropomorphizing these fish. So my worry here is that the bass gets fed up with this, turns around and snaps at Humphrey and says, just leave me alone which he kind of needs to do just to give him the message, like, I don't like this, beat it, rather than letting it build up to the point where he tries to kill it. The snakehead's gone into one of his almost hides. The bloody thing's nearly three feet long. It's hard to create a hide for him. I'm deliberately not feeding, so I'm not adding one more thing into the, the mix. I'll maybe feed them tonight or tomorrow. Right, well, I best got on with some work and just watch this space, I guess. I'm deliberately doing this well, fairly early in the morning. I know that I've got a good six hours of work to do 
in here, so I can be in here, I can be monitoring the situation, make sure nothing untoward goes on. Because the last thing I wanted to do was to chuck them in and then walk away. So I want to see what's going on, so I'm deliberately going to do my job from down here. Let these guys do their thing. And hopefully all will be well. Okay, we're about 10 minutes in and both the, the bass and the snakehead are fed up with the flower horns antics and have gone down <laughs> here. So they've claimed this little bit. There's been no real aggression as such. We have had... Humphrey has been snapped at a couple of times by the snakehead, but not bitten or anything, just a get out of the way type of thing, which he seems to have heeded. They're just kind of going, what the hell, at the moment. So this middle structure here is where there's, it's hard to tell from here, but I've created a few caves. It's hard to create a cave for fish that are these sizes. But there's a few caves in there that are different sizes so they can all get in and get away from each other. So the snakehead can kind of lies round in here, the peacock bass can get round the side and then Humphrey can have either of these sides to himself but hasn't quite figured that out yet and has chosen right in the middle as his little refuge. But he is doing this, chasing the peacock bass around in so far, he's getting bored after a minute or so of doing this, but my worry is that the peacock bass will get fed up with this and say, I kind of want it to happen. It's going to get fed up with it and give him a snap to put him in his place. Humphrey's like that little kid that thinks he's bigger than he is, Napoleon syndrome or whatever, and just needs a little gentle love snap to tell him to chill out and get on his way. I think he's realised the snake head. Yep, that's definitely bigger than me. I shall do whatever it tells me. But not quite figured it out with the, the peacock bass yet. But you know, so far so good. Okay, a couple of hours in. Still no dramas as such, but nobody's entirely happy about it. That's been happening every now and again. Um, I was about to say, well, this hasn't happened for about half an hour. But yeah, Humphrey chases the bass around for a bit and then they chill out. Snakehead, same, fairly chilled about the whole thing. Got a bit darker just to say, hang on, I'm not entirely sure I'm happy with all this. But has had a couple of snaps at Humphrey and he seems to have got the message now. Not really seen the bass fight back as such. So I think if he wants to have an easy time of it, he needs to give Humphrey a little little love bite. But yeah, successful so far. In the short term at least. Okay, we've been in here most of the day. Things have calmed down somewhat, but do you know what? It's really hard to read what's going on here. I find myself trying to project human emotions onto fishies, and I don't think that's the right thing to do. But if you indulge me for a second, basically, I think the flower horn is pissing off the other two. So it's going to be a case of time will tell for whether this is going to work long term. There's no immediate. No immediate aggression and, right, I'm going to kill that other fish from any of them towards any of the other ones. Humphrey is being annoying. So, to me, he is the annoying little brat. He's your little brother, prodding you because he knows he can, knows he can wind you up. The snakehead is like the big brother who just gives him a quick dig in the ribs and says, nope had enough of you. So Humphrey has got the message with that one and is generally leaving the snakehead alone. The peacock bass is, well he's hiding basically, he's staying out of the way of Humphrey. Humphrey's not doing anything necessarily, he's not biting him, he's, that bit. He's, he's interested. I get the idea he wants to play, and again that's me projecting human emotions onto a fish which isn't the right thing to do, but if 
you're allowed me to do that, that's what he's doing, he's chasing him, he's checking him out, he wants to he wants to interact, he's trying to figure out what is this thing, I think. And the peacock bastards have none of it. He's like, no, so you're doing my head in, just get out of my way. He's not showing any form of aggression back towards Humphrey. He's just getting out of the way and doing his own thing. There have been support for him here, but maybe four hours, something like that. There have been periods where they've all been out swimming around independently and it's been fine. But every now and again, Humphrey goes, Oh, yeah, I forgot. I was trying to figure out what you were up to and goes and chases him. So Humphrey's the one that's out swimming around, ruling the tank, if you like, but only at the behest of the Emperor Snakehead, who's allowing it to happen until he decides he's coming out. So, for instance, just keeping an eye on him. Just give him a little snap if he gets in the way. The peacock bass just said, I'm just going to chill out down here. I don't think I can make any conclusions from just them being in the tank together for one day. I think we need to give it a little bit longer. Maybe a few days to see whether or not this kind of calms down. I mean, it does take time for us to get to know each other. But I'm super glad that there's no real aggression being shown yet. But still need to keep an eye on things. So one last thing I wanted to try today. Give them a little bit of a feed and see if that goes as well or whether that causes problems. So if that causes problems, then we've got problems and we need to sort that out. So let's see if we can get set up for something. I'm going to try a mix of frozen food. So I've got some prawns, I've got some hikari. No, you can see that, so I'll turn the light on. Got some Hikari sinking carnivore pellets and massivore delete delight. Uh, I think that's what the snakehead and the Azul were being fed. So we'll do a bit of a mix of them, chuck them in and see what happens. And let you sh let you see the results. So what I'm looking for here is not so much that they all eat, it's that they don't fight. So yeah, it'd be nice if they all ate and waited their turn politely but what I don't want is or what I'm looking out for is me putting food in and they immediately try to kill each other so they get all the food to themselves if they leave all the food because they're a bit wary that's also fine but violence is what we're wanting to avoid so flower horns gone in snip scooped up some of that. The other two are kind of reticent. So Humphrey's gone in and cleaned up all the prawns. That is his favourite food, so that's fine. He's kind of ignoring the pellets, which is the, the food for the other two. They're also ignoring it at the moment. And this is fine, as long as after a day or two they feel more confident and confident enough to come out and eat the food. Because if Humphrey is putting them off their food, that is also a problem, a different type of problem. But at least no one is attacking anyone, trying to either steal the food or commandeer the food. So Humphrey's not really showing any interest in the pellets. <laughs> they just look scared. It's really strange. Humphrey is, by a long way, the smallest fish in here. And yet he seems to be putting the other two off in a big way. You can see the snakehead is still quite dark, still not completely sure about the whole situation. So I'm not going to force this, I am willing to take Humphrey out and put him back in the other tank, that's fine. This is an experiment.
I mean, I'm marking this as a success as there's been no murders. That's always a good start. A murder-free aquarium is what we all want, really. I think we just need to move into more longer-term testing just to make sure that things calm down, they start to get on. Ideally, I'd have more fish in to spread the aggression, so that might be something that we look into. Or spread the attentions, shall we say, because it's not really aggression that Humphrey's showing the other fish, he's just annoying them. So if he has some other fish to annoy, that might do it. But I just don't really have lots of other big fish. So I think we can go as far as calling that partial success so far. Uh, it definitely needs to be something that we run for a few more days. If there was something that had gone immediately wrong, yep, I'd have whipped them out straight away. But so far so good. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's, it's fine. Um, give it a couple more days, make sure that we've not got any aggression developing or building, we've not got any problems with feeding, so if Humphrey's putting them off their food, that's that's a no-go. Um, if Humphrey won't stop annoying them, that's a no-go. Um, that could be dealt with maybe by adding more fish, but again, a problem for another day. I'm really just going to have to leave this for a few days now and monitor the situation, make sure everything stays at worst like this. I mean, to, for the main, main part, they're ignoring each other, and that's fine. Um, I'd be really happy if they started to eat. I'd be really happy if they started to be out more com more comfortably and more confidently more often. Um, so that's what I'll be looking at for the next couple of days. If you've got any tips, tricks, ideas, and um, like I say, I've got some more hides I might put in that can do wonders sometimes. Um, maybe get some more bigger fish that might do something. But yeah, if you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I'll thank you for joining me, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!